guys, welcome back to Astroways. Now that you've gone quite far in this Baza chart reading course, I assume that you've learned and fully digest the basic academical theories, and you should be able to read and tell the basic information from any type of Baza chart. As you know, I do many types of metaphysical chart readings, includes Western astrology chart, Chinese astrology chart called Zi Wei Dou Shu, human design chart, etc. You may not know the Chinese astrology chart that well, especially if you're not a Chinese speaker. It's difficult to tap into in the beginning, but it's actually my personal favorite. It's very much the same type of system as the Western astrology chart. It's about stars. While Baza chart is more about season, climate, weather, environment, which has a lot of flexibility. Unlike the Western and Chinese astrology chart, Baza chart is quite easy to tap into in the beginning. It's essentially just five elements. As long as you can get the five elements straight, you can have an understanding of the chart. The hardest part of Baza chart reading is to combine the five elements formula together with the origin, the current reality, the actual environment, and your own understanding and interpretation. This is the hardest part. Chart reading is part of metaphysics. It's about formulas and calculations, but more than just formulas and calculations. Otherwise, it would have been called physics, not metaphysics, right? Metaphysics begins with science and data research. Then from data research, we can come to conclusions up to a certain level. But we're human, we're not machines. We don't just have one way to understand everyone's body chart. Even if you memorize all the combinations, all the formulas and calculations, the ultimate thing you're facing is a real life human, not a machine. That is the hard part. So from this video on, we slowly tap into the real life human chart interpretation. I'll be taking you to the next level of this body chart journey. In this next level journey, I may repeat some theories that you think you already know, but you don't. Just like the title of this video, Strong versus Weak Chart. You think you already know a person born in season is strong, a person born off season is weak. There's nothing else to say. Yes, you're right. But if I ask you if you had a choice, would you prefer to be born with a strong chart or a weak chart? Most people would say strong chart. Even though I always say strong or weak, it's not related to your health status. It's not like if you had a weak chart, then you have a weak body. No. But still, most people would still prefer having a strong chart. It just sounds better. Who wants to be weak, right? So today, I'm here to have a little chat with you. I'm going to tell you some real stories from some real people. Okay, so person one. A mother came to me with her son's body chart. She asked me to read the chart for her because she feels like her son is very disappointing. He's 20 something years old and he hasn't got a job, wasn't particularly good at school, doesn't have a goal and hasn't achieved much in his life. So I read his chart. Is full of supporting elements, born in season, not much conflict nor merges in this natal chart, and the first four 10 year lot pillars are full of supporting elements, a very strong chart with very strong support. Looks like that kind of chart that everyone wants. However, imagine someone always has everything he needs in life. Born in rich family, never had to think about putting bread on the table. Parents have always been healthy, supportive. He's always been healthy, perfect. So I asked the mother, what's your expectation of your son? 
She said, I want him to be ambitious, I want him to have a dream, to have great achievement, be a leader, be a doctor, be a scientist, be an Olympic champion, be a general of an army, etc. So his mother has high expectations of her son, want him to have a dream, have a purpose of life. But what is a dream? A dream usually is something you don't have and you've been wanting to have all your life. And it turned into the motivation for you to achieve in life. I think it's too much to ask for someone who always has everything in his life. And to be a leader, a doctor, a scientist, an Olympic champion, a general of an army, all these professions are constantly work under high pressure. Do you think it would happen to someone who's been having all the support he needs, never had a hard time and never had any discipline so far in his life? It's in the parents' nature to love their children and want to provide them the best they can possibly do. But this fine line between love and spoil. If you are ready to spoil your children, then you shouldn't have high expectations of them. This is the first example I want to give you. The second example, there's a weak child person and the first three 10 year lock pillars are opposing elements. This chart is quite weak, but not yet a follower chart. This person had a tough life in the first 30 years of his life. His parents died when he was younger and he had almost no education. He started working in a very young age and no one actually guide him or tell him what's right or wrong. At the age of 31, he started to have supporting elements in his 10 years luck pillar. Now you must think, he can finally have a decent life and the support he needs. Well, yes, at the age of 31, he went to prison. And it makes perfect sense. In the beginning of his life, he had no education, no family support whatsoever. He ended up hanging out with drug dealers and risking his life running from one place to another. Finally, he got arrested and put into prison. Now he doesn't have to run anymore, he has food on the table every day, he has education in prison, he has support whenever he needs. You see, this is what supporting elements can do. They can put your mind at rest, you don't need to fight to survive, you don't need to stress out, work hard to put food on the table. These two examples of what may happen if you have a strong chart or you come across supporting elements. They're quite extreme examples. But if that was you, you need to ask yourself, are you mentally prepared for it? Do you know how to deal with a strong chart or supporting element? Do you know how to use them so they can become your advantage, become your resource? That's the most important thing. For weak chart people, most of the time you were born with restrictions, with disciplines. It can empower you to make great changes of your life or it can break you and turn you into a demon. There's also a fine line between monster and hero. And to be honest, most of the historical great generals had weak NATO charts. And they always won wars or battles during opposing element pillars. When life pushes you to your limit, oftentimes it reveals your great potential. Have you seen Napoleon's Baza chart? He had a very weak Baza chart, and the first five 10 year old pillars were full of opposing elements. He went to war, he led the army, he fought in battlefields with his life at risk all the time. And look what he had achieved. Great success usually is not made out of comfort and relaxation. But it doesn't mean if you had a weak chart and go through shit in your life, go through opposing pillars can make you a hero. It can also break you. Most of the psychopaths 
The breaking point is when they were going through an extremely tough time with opposing elements. It can go both ways. No matter if you have a lot of supporting elements or a lot of opposing elements, it can go both ways. Ultimately, it's down to one question. Are you mentally prepared of what you wished for? A chart is something you were born with and there's no way to change it. But how you see it and how you take advantage of it is the most important part. Okay, guys, that's all for today. Next episode, we can dive more into supporting and opposing elements. And we'll talk more about what lucky and unlucky elements mean to you. Again, if you want to have your personal chart reading with me, you can email me at astroways.info at gmail.com or find me on Facebook at Astroways. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to know more about my physics, please subscribe to my channel and I'll keep you updated.